What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London. Welcome to my BMW M3 Nuke version 2.0. You join me on the day before of my drive over to Dub Customs because a very exciting thing is happening tomorrow. When I collected this car from Redline Specialist Cars, it came on a set of Continentals, which is not the manufacturer's setup. However, having been to an airfield and getting used to this car over the last month or so, I've realized that the power delivery on this car is very, very, well, it makes the car incredibly twitchy. With the traction on, sport mode, or even off, this car just wants to go sideways. However, because the conditions that we're facing with at the moment in winter in the UK, I feel that it is important with the miles that I'm about to do in this car that I should get a winter setup, a proper winter setup on this car so that it can handle the wetness, the coldness, and everything else that the British weather is gonna throw at us. So I got in touch with Michelin and asked whether they could send over the setup so that I could then go out and buy the tires and everything that is needed to make this car as safe and as comfortable as possible during these treacherous times. Is that the right word? Treacherous. It's a difficult word to say. Anyway, don't know whether it's because it's Christmas or the Michelin man is a superhero in disguise, but Michelin have actually sent me the full setup and they've sent it to Dub Customs. Meaning that I have the Michelin winter tires waiting at Dub Customs. So tomorrow, I am going to drive over to Dub Customs, but first, I'd just like to give you a demonstration of what this car is like in these conditions with the traction fully on. The car is in manual. My engine setup is Sport Plus. Traction is fully on. Traction, traction, whoa, whoa. Traction is fully on. And at 25 miles an hour, the car steps out. Can you imagine what this car is like with traction fully off? It is the morning after, and as you can see by what is on my shoulder, I've got the Michelin Alpine, Alpa, or however you want to pronounce it, A-L-P-I-N, and the BMW has arrived at Dub Customs. It will shortly be going on inside so that the tires can be swapped over. I picked the BMW up with part-worn Continental sports tires. Uh, probably not the best sort of tire to be running around in in five degrees temperature no clouds in the sky but it is absolutely freezing so i shouldn't really be wearing a t-shirt um, so we're going to get the car in we're going to fit these tires on i'll show you the difference in tread between the tires that are currently on the car and these bad boys but at the moment they look absolutely incredible i reckon i could uh, get a full launch with full traction in the snow by the looks of things so uh, let's get this car inside and get this tires changed over Yep, that's right, I am in a Christmas jumper. On the day that my winter tires are getting fitted to my BMW M3, I'm also filming a special Christmas Day video which will go live tomorrow, as this video is going live on Christmas Eve, featuring my AMG GTS, which is parked here, and it also features Nikki Shields, who you may have seen on my Instagram a couple of weeks ago, so that is a load of fun. I'm feeling pretty sick, but inside my M3, not, not sick as in cool sick, as in sick as in vomit sick. My M3 inside is getting winter tires fitted. I've got my GoPro, I'm gonna be documenting the process and hopefully going to be able to compare both tires as they are off the car. The used, worn Continentals and the winter tires from Michelin. Michelin Alpin, Pilot Alpin is probably the best way that they describe it, seeing as Michelin is a French company. And then I'm gonna be out on the road in this beautiful weather with the attempt of getting the power down, finally, onto the rear wheels of my M3. So let's head inside and check out how they're getting on. Ooh. Wheels looking good. Tires getting changed. Look, they've got stadium floodlights all around now, meaning that it is capable 
of filming in here. We've got fantastic lighting. My wheels are off and over here, the guys are working on the tires and you can see already the difference between my Continentals, which are here, which look pretty awful, and my new winter tires that are gonna be fitted to my M3. So the winter tire setup from Michelin on the M3 actually involves in the same front and rear tire sizes going onto the car. Before, on the Continentals, they were slightly wider at the back, obviously to try and get as much grip as possible, um, and slightly thinner on the front. But Michelin have advised me to have all four tires the same width, the same as the front tires and hopefully that will set me up to be able to plow through all of the snow all of the ice it, it won't but hopefully i'll be able to get me a little bit more grip so the tires are going to go on and then i'm going to go for my first drive with my winter tires which uh, I'm very much looking forward to but right now i'm going to take this jumper off because i feel stupid about five days before christmas like that And the M3 is out now fitted with the Michelin Alpine winter tyres and uh, with the sun slowly going down I'm going to hit the road pretty quickly and just do an interior test. I don't think we've got the right light now to uh, get some exterior angles. Welcome to a couple of days later. This is a 48 hour delay from the day that I was at Dub Customs and right now it is the 24th of December. So Merry Christmas Eve everyone. I am filming on the morning of the day of this video going live because I had a GoPro error on the footage of me giving my first impressions of driving this car with the new Michelin Pilot Alpin Alpine tires. However, now I have done around 150 miles miles on the tires on this car and I feel like I've got a well-rounded bit of experience now with these tires so I'm gonna jump in and um, go for a bit of a drive warm this engine up get it ready for Christmas and talk to you guys about how I feel about these winter tires on my BMW I've never ever done this before and I feel very sensible for doing so especially in this car it is super twitchy the back end always wants to come out but two days into my winter setup the first thing that I don't really essentially physically feel firsthand but it, I think it's up here is the confidence that I have that I'm not only will I be able to get more grip my stopping distance will be a lot better in the wet in the ice and the snow and overall the confidence that I now have on these set of tires is much much more superior to when I had the old tires on the car right I mean <laughs> If I had done that, even with half of the amount of throttle I've just gone around that corner in, I would have been in all sorts of trouble, all sorts of shapes. But I oh, just, whoa! I need to make a video of the sounds that this car produces off, off a stock exhaust system. Shuck it in. Whoa, no brake and traction. Still no brake and traction. <laughs> what is this car? How is this? My daily. Like, I knew how much power this car had. I knew how much power it had on paper. But this is the first time I've actually experienced just... set of tyres. I 
think that is the best way to summarize this car. I've got the correct setup for this time of year. This car now is able to perform how I want it to perform. for a lot of fuel I'm gonna go through a lot of fuel but I need to wrap Christmas presents so I better get home I've got so much to do today including edit and upload this video in the right time so ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already Merry Christmas I hope you have a fantastic day tomorrow there is a supercars of London Christmas special going live so make sure that you're tuning in for that so thanks for watching and I'll see you later cheers